Welcome to another episode of Pain Free for Life. My name is Dr. John Hache, and today we're going to talk about what is microcurrent technology and what can it do for your pain. Now, we all know that the body is electric. All we have to do is think about, oh, my brain is electrical, and how do we know if we were dead or not is by, oh, you have no more activity in your brain, you must be dead. Or how about your heart? If your heart stops, your heart is electrical. If your heart stops, then we might stimulate it with an electrical <laughs> charge to try to get your life back. So we know then that your brain is electrical, your heart is electrical, and so your cells are also electrical because they need to talk to each other all day long to be able to tell the brain or ask the brain what do you want this little cell to do today. So. The, so then that communication is electrical as well. So it only stands to reason that to be able to get the body to, know, to act or to function normally would be through some form of electrical current. That would match the electrical current that our body uses. Now our body uses microcurrent. It doesn't use the battery that's in uh, your car or it doesn't use what you plug into the wall. It uses microcurrent which uh, for some people would understand is about 1,000 time, 1, times um, milder than a TENS device, for example, for those of you who have been trying TENS devices to control your pain. Now what microcurrent does is because it is so body friendly. It does not disrupt, it doesn't shut gates, it doesn't close things down, it doesn't make you feel well when you're not it actually helps you resolve your pain. And one of the ways it does it is it because it has complete control over inflammation. Inflammation is fundamentally an electron event. Uh, inflammation is when your cells carry oxygen, when there's something that happens, and say you get a splinter in your hand, the cells rush oxygen in and release oxygen to bombard the intruder to break break it down into smaller molecules and smaller debris so that it can better deal with it. Now the way it has to deal with it, it has it deals with it through electrons. Electrons are energy, so they're energy sources. So uh, when your body does not heal, because we may go through an acute crisis, when does acute become chronic? It's because your body has not been able to resolve that problem. So what we need to do is to be able to supply those cells, supply the body with the needed electrons to be able to neutralize the free radicals that are creating inflammation. Now inflammation is like a fire. It's actually encapsulated in what we call a cellier pouch and it can be there for days, for weeks, for months, for decades even and it can cause all kinds of havoc. In fact, we know now that inflammation is the cause behind over 4,000 different diseases. So chances are that even the disease of aging is looked at as inflam aging. So that if we could control these inflammatory factors, we could actually slow down the aging process itself. Now this, now we're really getting into something really interesting here. So what does it do for your pain? It can actually not only bring your pain down, but it actually can complete the circus. You have to understand that inflammation becomes a block to communication flow within your body. So when you have these pouches of inflammation a little bit everywhere, leaking the contents down into the cells, and where it's leaked, we give it the name of a disease. So. If we, if we want to neutralize, we don't take a pill. There is no such thing as a pill that resolves the disease. There's such a thing as a pill that treats the disease. What that means is that it simply permits the disease to continue without you feeling it, so that you feel comfortable in your degeneration. That's, <laughs> that's not a great thing. So what we want to do is we want to resolve. We want to resolve the problem that's going on here, but we don't want it to become something else later on. We don't want the doctor standing over us saying, 
you, the reason why you are lying on this slab is because you have had a heart attack or you've had this disease or that one. You say, well, doc, you've been my doctor for 25 years. Why, why, why am I getting this now? Well, we gave you the medication that made you feel comfortable at the time. Unfortunately, this is how it resolves. <laughs> it's the end of your day. Uh, this, is, this is it. So what do, can you do to resolve your pain? We need to resolve the inflammation. We need to resolve the blockages that are con uh, blocking communication flow throughout your body. So now we understand uh, microcurrent a little bit more. We understand how beneficial it can be for you in our clinics. We use a special, a special device, a specific device, uh, to be able to deliver these electronic signals into your body or into anybody's body who is suffering from chronic pain or even acute pain. Now, uh, the technology is available. We spend a lot of our time uh, building videos, uh, writing books, writing manuals, writing quick start guides, all of the support that you will need to be able to apply uh, this technology. Uh, for, uh, for your own pain or for those of the people that are around you. If you would like to learn how to finally resolve your chronic pain, download our free ebook that uncovers the five interactive strategies of the HASHA protocol for chronic pain resolution at painfreeforlife.com.